yeah, thank you very much for joining. So this is uh, my topic for today, right? So um, I, I will go through the um, how to cross compile ROS2 uh, distribution by taking VixWorks ROS uh, real time operating system as an example. Um, actually, I, I think uh, previous uh, speakers uh, will um, um, talk or spoken about different operating systems. I know that the Prosima guys probably uh, spoke about Zephyr, on, or uh, there is also FreeRTOS and other operating systems which uh, uh, ROS2 can run uh, uh, upon. Is not only Linux. Uh, and but the uh, let's say the uh, uh, approach how to do the cross compilation is, is more or less the same, right? So and I will go and explain you uh, why we would need to cross compile and, and in particular how would, uh, I will talk a bit uh, about principles how to let's say tune uh, ROS2 distribution that uh, you can you know shrink it a little bit and, and to understand what parts can we run can run where right so uh, but before we um, we go to this topic I will tell about myself so my name is Andrei Holodny and I'm a principal technologist as uh, it was mentioned in the technology office and I have this you know this uh, is a part of technology office this privilege in the company to do like uh, stuff which I think it's it's interesting and good for the company. So uh, my my uh, topics of interest is is uh, mobile robotics uh, uh, in particular ROS2. So I am uh, a real time uh, I am core chi and real time working group on ROS2 community, and I'm also looking in because we we have a VxWorks as a, it's a real time operating system. I'm looking in particular in TSN and, and in, in the computation on the edge, because with TSN you can you can create a, uh, a pretty cool and then distribute it uh, a real time operating system, right? So then um, why why WindRiver? I don't know whether whether you you guys know WindRiver. Uh, probably I would know if I would st stay in the auditorium, I would say, hey, please raise your hands who knows WindRiver, right? And, and uh, probably this is uh, NASA, this is the most uh, famous example. So we produce a real-time operating system, uh, which is called VixWorks. And, and uh, since many years, for instance, all Mars rovers, uh, which are running on the Mars, run with, with our operating system. And, and besides that, we have a bunch of, uh, so all uh, robots, industrial robots, which are mentioned here from KUKA, EVB, Schneider, Yaskawa, General Electric, Siemens, uh, 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 they uh, come out, they run our operating system, so inside. That's why it's, it's some kind of, you know, natural, why we have interest in, uh, in ROS2, so what is, what is done in ROS2. So just a few words about VxWorks, right? So what is VxWorks? Um, uh, VxWorks is a proprietary real-time operating system. It is, it is a POSIX compliant, and, and that's why it's, it's quite, um, I think, quite easy, um, I would say, to, to port POSIX uh, user space applications on VxWorks. So it has kernel and user space separation. And it has also C, C++ support. Then it has a, a, yeah, a LLVM tool chain. And uh, um, we have, uh, in compared to open source, we don't have uh, open source C++ libraries, but we have a proprietary also Dincomware C++ library, which comes from, uh, from uh, Dincomware. And uh, we have also like a normal, Eclipse based or VS Code IDE where you can develop uh, um, or you can develop VxWorks um, whether under Linux or, or uh, Windows hosts for different targets. And uh, the first bullet, so we, we do support basically ARM, Intel, MIPS, PowerPC, RISC-V, so, so it's pretty range. So,